Hey there folks, welcome to the BRO, reloading bench and then shooting range. Uh, me and Hammer were able to get together today on a cloudy, what is it, a Thursday afternoon? Yes sir. Weather's supposed to get real bad the next several days. We're shooting our big glocks. Um, I had to take the lone wolf barrel out of the G20 because it was throwing rounds all over the place. I was getting much better results with the stock. Glock barrel. I've uh, been in contact with Lone Wolf. I've uh, emailed them several times. I've called them several times, left several messages, and Lone Wolf has not gotten back with me. Very disappointed, Lone Wolf. Uh, so what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to get on with this shoot. We're running out of time here. Same thing I told Lone Wolf. We're running out of time. I need to get this done. So we're going to have to shoot Glock, uh, Glock stock. Only thing that we have that isn't stock, we've got an all steel um, guide rod and return spring and we have the true glow high visibility hunting sights on both models these are gen 3s 20 and 21 we're going to shoot them at 50 meters at about a half size deer target we put a shoot and see over the vitals which is 10 inches we're going to see if we can put anything in this target at 50 meters guys stand by folks well i got a few minutes here and we'll talk about true glow has a new product called the hip shot can you see the logo there, baby? Okay. This is designed to be held on your hip. But you got an adjustment right here. You loosen up, and it's got inches and incremental segments here to where you can set it and remember where you need it set. This is all the way out for me, but I'm, I'm 6'4", 330 pounds. So I'm a big joker. And it's almost, I can extend my arm out fully if I bring it up any higher. But uh, we're gonna give it a try because I'm gonna be shooting off of, a, off of a rest very similar to this with the handgun in the stand. So it's also got a flat spot right here where you can set it directly on a sandbag or on the table. And I'm gonna take my pistol rest on this at this 50 meter shot and uh, like I said, that's the way it's going to be in the deer stand anyway. So let's see how it works out. All right, guys. First three shots are going to be the Hornady XTP 155 grain, 9.5 grains of long shot powder, large federal magnum pistol primer, 50 meters. And we're going to see if we can hit that 10 inch target. I'm going to let Hammer shoot the first three. All right, and we're going to chronograph it and see what we're actually getting with this. It's supposed to be somewhere between 12 and 1300 foot per second. shoot a three shot group with each uh, with each load. Guys, kinda awkward. Yeah. Let's see we got thirteen sixty six. Them things got some pop, don't they? Well, that's tough there. With this thing, it makes it, you don't have anything like down here where it's sitting in well, it. Well, I'll try it. If you're going to be kinda... more comfortable to anchor it right on the sandbag, we'll do that with the next few shots. I know I'm going to be using something similar to that. And, um, all three brass fell right in front of me. Yeah, Hammer said he didn't like that, uh, that brace that he was shooting off of, especially not at that distance. It was, uh, we got one right there. And we found the other one, another one hit right here. Now this is not a very big deer target. But uh, so this is a try, try and feel it out on the first set. Okay. Let's try the 45 for three shots. Okay, folks, Hammer and myself, we're trying to feel this stuff out. 50 meters is a long way to be. We've never shot these rounds or these pistols at 50 meters before. This is the first time we're bringing you guys along with it. 45 ACP, 200 grain Hornady XTP, 7 grains of long shot, Federal Large Magnum Pistol Primer. We'll see what kind of velocities we get and see if Hammer can put these into target. Stand by. Are 
you say the 45's been hitting? 45 is actually, I think, has been uh, been hitting a little bit high. A little high. All right. I would I would start out aiming dead on, and we'll see. First round, aim dead on, and we'll see where we're hitting. That looked to be center where the dust flew up. What are we getting? We're getting eight. I don't know what we got. Eight sixty-nine on the second one. Okay. Nine, just over 900 on the last one. Okay. That's a pretty too good two-shot group. He was a little bit low with one, but yeah, it looks like that hold is going to be perfect for the height. A little bit right, though. But now, like I said, we're 50 meters. I'm going to try, um, I'm going to shoot three rounds of 155 XTP out of the 10 millimeter with uh, um, this one with the tight group. We've been getting really good groups out of the tight group powder. We're going to try and see if I can even put some on the target here at 50 meters. Stand by, guys. All right, guys, I'm going to try it. I've got the 155 XTP pushed by 7.2 grains of Hodgdon Tight Group. Federal Large Pistol Magnum Primer. It's just a guess, really. Uh -huh, it is. Well, like I said, I don't know what we're up against till we're up against it. Exactly. Well, yours will brighten things up. You got that yeah. flash on there. All right. Here we go. Yeah, I need this thing anchored as good as, as I can. All right, here we go. I heard it hit wood. It what looked did like we it get? was hit 1247 pretty... on the velocity. Look, it hit about right. three times we're getting over 1200 foot per second that's good and shoot guys as a novice yeah here was my very first 50 meter pistol group with that 10 millimeter with a stock barrel I had put two in the deer I think I'd have missed him with that one but now like I said that's, that deer is only about a third size I may have spined him with that one right there but, uh, yeah, that one right there near the bullseye would definitely be in the boiler room. I think that one right there would have probably caught the vitals on a full-size deer. All right, well, we're learning. We're getting there. I don't know what we're going to shoot next. I'll tell you in a minute. Okay, Hammer's going to give it another try. We got 230 grain Sierra jacketed hollow point. Pushed by 9.3 grains of Alliant Blue Dot Federal Magnum Large Pistol Primers. Stand by for the shots. That's good velocity out of 230 grain. Shoot, man. Hammer. Hammer dead awesome on that one now. Now they were they were going low, but we don't know that until we shoot. Look at that. What a group. That's a five, five inch group at 50 meters with that 45, 230 grain. Out of a stock Glock. And basically, shoot you. He just need to know if he was if he was holding here, if he was holding right there, he'd have had all three of those right there in the middle of the target. But now we know that. We may try that again. I got a bigger target. We're going to hang here. It's a bigger deer. 10 millimeter. We're back to the 10 millimeter. 180 grain Hornady XTP. Six grains of tight group. Pushing. Uh, we're pushing it with the uh, Federal Large Magnum Pistol Primer. All right, guys. Let's see how these do. All right. Everybody ready? Good to go. Okay, good. Bless you! 
Oh yeah, that's a lot more like it. And with a rookie like me, if I can do that with a stock barrel, imagine I do a lot better if I can get a lone wolf or a little bit longer barrel or something, or something to help with that. Shoot, yeah. We'll mark that up and we're going to let Hammer see what he can do with that 230 grain with this beast. Stand by. I mean, shooting low. Shooting low. But that, uh, that's the 200 grain bullet. It shouldn't be shooting okay. low. Okay, oh, I'll shoot and see. Yeah, I'd have more of a center hole with it. <laughs> they got some pop now with that long shot. Dust is flying up dead center. It looks like it's hovering around 850 with that 200 grain. I think we can get a little bit more out of that for the hunting bullets. Boy, Hammer, we're showing off with that one right here. All end of idols. I think that one up top would have spined him enough, hit the top of that shoulder. That would have probably put him right down in his tracks. He got both lungs, both other times, and lever. Both lungs and lever. Man, yeah. All right, we might try a few other loads later on. I think that's going to wrap that one today, folks. Okay, guys, thank you all for joining us down here at this 50-meter shoot. We all learned a lot today. We learned that Hammer can shoot pretty dang good. But uh, we, just need to, we just need to do a little bit more practicing. But we brought you guys along for the first time that we tried this at 50 meters. All right, Rachel has been running the cameras for us. We really appreciate what she does. This is Wade and Hammer. Thanking y'all for coming along with us, and we will be back with another one very soon, guys. Bye-bye.